Hotep Virgo, welcome to your lovers only reading for the month of February 2021. I am Cosmic Divine Tarot and Virgo. This is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Now if it resonates with you, then hit that like, share, subscribe to my channel, hit the bell notifier to know when I will be uploading new messages for you love and if this is not your message then don't worry about that virgo just come on back next time and uh, i'll have you a message then okay now virgo i have uh, a few announcements to make my darling first and foremost there's about 56 more days left until this whole free trial of free readings uh personal readings are over okay so if you are interested in a free intimate romantic and sexual reading with me then do uh contact me my darling the uh, way to contact me is in the description box below where uh you can contact me through facebook messenger or skype okay not skype i substituted skype for uh whatsapp <laughs> because skype was slowing down my devices so i didn't want to use that anymore so it's the uh whatsapp my darling and my number and all of that will be in the description box below now uh virgo one other thing as you can see i have all the zodiac symbols up there and they're up there because at on the second half of um your reading i'm going to be doing how each of the zodiac signs feel about you intimately romantically and uh sexually okay so if you're interested in knowing that do uh stay tuned for the second half okay my love let's get into your reading i set it off with the romance angels and virgo you have four cards that came out <laughs> first card is um Give your relationship a chance, Virgo. Work on your partnership. Because religious factors is uh, here to confirm that sand. Your love life is being influenced by uh, your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So there is something that um, is going on inside of you because of what you feel according to your spiritual or religious beliefs that is not happening in your love life that you know the the universe is cautioning you to go ahead and and give your relationship a a chance because this person who you're looking at that is not doing what it is that you want them to do according to how you see it uh, is really in love with you okay they have their eyes shut and their arms just wrapped all around you in love okay so it's like they love you and you deserve love Virgo but you feel that love is a uh, like a wedding here. Uh, this situation involves marriage. You feel that if this person loves you, that they will go ahead and marry you, okay? Or vice versa. This is either you or your person. Somebody is looking at the other person like this, you know, because, you know, this other person feels like maybe they don't want to be married. Maybe they don't want to be married according to the laws of the land. Maybe they want to be married according to the laws of the spiritual world, okay? This person may be more spiritual, and you may be more religious or vice versa, okay? You feel that a reverend or a rabbi or an imam has to go ahead and marry you, but this person feels like you are already spiritually husband and wife. Now, here's a new deck I have for you, Sensual Wicca Tarot. But you don't you just don't see it that way my darling because here's the ten of pentacles somebody wants the other person to uh go ahead and do it traditionally have this family with them it looks like this person wants to have the husband and wife the children the dog everything okay they want everything the whole effort they want this person to give them the ten of pentacles their 100 percent uh self all into this okay come all the way or don't come in at all okay that's how somebody is feeling now here we got the um hangman 
Now this tells me that you two are separated. Y'all haven't spoken or seen each other in a while. Now y'all could be in the same house and y'all just are not dealing with each other. Or y'all could be in the same city, same state. Y'all are y'all have stopped seeing each other because somebody has to sacrifice something. Either you or your partner has to sacrifice the way that you are seeing things. Like uh, you know, it's like you don't want to uh be married in a traditional way, but your partner does. Now here is the uh, Ten of Cups here. The Ten of Cups is telling me that you both are madly in love with each other, okay? But the Ten of Cups is also a happy family, a happy wife, a happy husband, a happy life. You want that even though this person does make you happy, even though this person is a team player with the Three of Wands. But Virgo, you're standing in the middle here and there's two other people uh, standing of the opposite sex here. It's like saying that um, if your person won't go ahead and give you what it is that you need from a, a mate, then you will find somebody else to do it, okay? You will find somebody else to give you this whole life that you want, that this person doesn't seem to be uh, so eager to uh, give you. It's like, you know, it, it's this person, they're saying that, like, you know, spiritually, you guys are already married. Like, they already see you as hubby. They already see you as wifey. But it's like you want it to be made official. You want the, the whole ritual. You want the whole thing, okay? And it's like this person is holding out on you. And that is something that is not, you don't like it at all. You don't like what this person is doing. Okay, they say they love you. You're the ten of chalices. You're everything that they ever wanted. Okay, you could be dealing with a, a Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay, and you're like, you know, this person, first of all, is probably somebody who does not even communicate much to you as much as they should of the love and the affection that you want. Okay, but it's like... Mm, Virgo, you may be looking for somebody else, baby. Now, let me see what we got here. Okay. This is the uh, five of air. As you can see, somebody is feeling like uh, defeated. Somebody's feeling defeated trying to reach out for this person, but this person doesn't have anything left for them. Okay, so it's like this clarifying the Ten of Pentacles. It seems like somebody is feeling like somebody is just not giving enough effort. This person is reaching out for this person to be uh, in a strong, committed relationship that is eternal. But this person is standing over them like, no, they would rather have it another way. Now, what other messages do we have? Okay. So that means that uh, you may be feeling like a fool for even uh, evolving or involving yourself with this person here. You thought this was a real person. You thought this person was uh, somebody who was going to be by your side. You thought this person was going to commit to you, but you were the real one here. And Virgo, they were the fake one. They were the fake one standing over you like, no, they don't want this whole thing. You know, and it looks like this person, the way that they did it, the way that they said no was not in a very, uh, you know, pleasant way. Because the five of um, air hair and the way that she's standing looks like she just doesn't care. She looking down at this person right here is reaching up for her and not even attempting to give this person any effort to help them up. Okay, so that makes you feel like a fool for even dealing with this type of person. All right, so with the hangman here, we have the Knight of Fire to clarify. The Knight of Fire is saying that somebody, could be you, Virgo, I'm thinking that it is, decided to rush away from this person, make a bold, uh, decisive move to just leave this person alone if they are not going to be what it is that you want them to be. Okay, and make you feel, even though they're saying that you are hubby, that you are wifey, how come they haven't bought you a ring yet? How come they haven't spent thousands of dollars on a ring to give to you to even just give you the, the feeling that this person is your husband or your wife? And that you could tell people in your family and your friends that, yeah, you got married. Like, yeah, this is your spiritual or, you know, spiritual husband or wife since that's the way that they want to see it. What, you need a spiritual ring too? Mm -mm. 
No, baby. You want a real ring. You want a real ring, baby. So here we got the uh, nine of air. The nine of air is telling me that this person feels that you are a little bit too old-fashioned. You're too old-fashioned back there stuck in the mid-ages or stuck in some type of way, Virgo, that you do not want to move out of it and step into uh, the way that it's done today. Okay, like you may be old school and your person may be somebody who is a bit more, uh, you know, millennial or, or modern day type of thing where they are into the spiritual aspect of things and not necessarily want a third party to pronounce you husband and wife and that may be something that they said to you which made you feel like uh you probably need to go ahead and seek somebody else in a relationship and what other messages do we have for virgo yeah so here we got the the high priest it looks like um it looks like there is somebody else who was already you or your person was thinking about who already have like some type of, uh, you know, spiritual desire. I mean, sexual, sexual desire for you. And every single time you go and see this person, this person is somebody who like to, uh, you know, uh, very sexual in nature. They like to come on to you. It could be a Taurus we're talking about because here's the symbol of a Taurus down here. Okay, this person right here is uh, somebody who's always like uh, turned on to you. Somebody who would give you an effort here. Somebody who would go ahead and, and be married to you. This somebody who is very turned on by you. Who would do what it is that they can in order to satisfy you? This may be the third party that you know that you have here. Could be a Taurus or somebody who is like very stubborn, bullheaded, highly sexual in nature. Okay. What other messages do we have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus? Mm. But Virgo, you. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like you may be kind of shy when it comes to this person because of how bold and how highly sexual they feel about you. It's like it's like you feel that this person, whenever they see you or whenever they're looking at you, they can just uh, imagine what you look like in between your legs or just want you to open up your legs and just be everything that you uh, want them to be. Okay. Or be everything that they want you to be. Sorry, baby. Now, this could also be talking about the person who you're dealing with. You know, you are starting to shy away. Or before you left them, you begin to shy away from them. They always wanted you to have your legs open as soon as they stepped on the scene. And you did. Okay? Could be a, a tourist that you're dealing with. Or a tourist that you're going to. Okay? But it's like, uh, you know, you just um, you closed your legs, baby. You're like, I'm not going to keep opening up my legs to you. I'm not going to keep giving you the kitty or the wand until you uh, put a finger on this and make it official that you want to be with me eternally. If this person was smart, they would have been bought a ring and this whole situation would just be over. But I think you're dealing with somebody who's not that smart, baby. You know, they feel that they are, but they're not. They're not that smart. Matter of fact, I don't see uh, them being that smart in this reading. I don't see that happening at all. So it's like, you don't want to sit up there and ask them to give you a ring. You want to see if they're going to do that. What are the messages that we have for Virgo? Okay. Mm. Emotional intimacy. Emotional intimacy states that a healing relationship with self, inner child, precedes successful relationships. Love is energy. I think that's a message for the one who wants this whole ritual of um, marriage to take place because love is energy. Love is not a, a contract or, or even a wedding ring or, or an engagement ring or anything like that. Love is energy, okay? And you should be focused more on the energy that you feel from this person as opposed to uh, them putting a ring on your finger. Now we have seduction here. Seduction states attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, uh, temptation, 
third party interference. Now, I feel that the third party interference is someone's religious uh, factors and upbringing. That is the third party interference where somebody thinks that there should be like a type of, um, uh, you know, ritual hair of marriage. But we got keys on a ring. All right. Well, many options, decisions, unconventional, string along, one night stand. Yeah. The third party interference is the reason why someone thinks that this is a string along and that other people have other options and that this is just a one night stand when my darling, this person is in love with you. They're in love with you, Virgo. You know what I'm saying? Or you're in love with them. It's like somebody is trying to go ahead and get on the boat to leave. It said, uh, receiving what you need, progression, arriving, moving on, closure issues. So it's like they're getting on the boat to go towards what it is that they feel that they need. And they feel that they need an actual marriage. Now here's the uh, sword and the rose, baby. It says, clarity, truth, revelation, solidarity, force, honor, protection, power, okay? That's like somebody feeling like it's their honor here that is it, that is at, uh, you know, stake, the protection. So they want to protect themselves. They want to get back their power. So they're going to go in solidarity uh, until uh, get, they get more clarity on this situation, which is the reason why the hangman is here. The boat is there. People are just leaving the other person. Uh, to go towards maybe a third party, but it does say solidarity, but maybe you will meet a third party during your solidarity, okay? So, but but the clarity and the truth and the revelation that you're going to get being away from each other is that this person is in love with you and you left this person or they left you because of religious factors and somebody wanted it to be more committed. When in all actuality, somebody was never going to leave them anyway. Mm. That's very, very sad, Virgo. That's sad, baby. Well, let's go ahead and get how each sign feels romantically, intimately, and sexually about you. Okay? See how they feel. I would say that, I mean, you're going to do whatever you feel you must, but if this person, you, you're feeling the energy, I would say before you leave, get clarity, truth, and revelation of the energy, okay? Of the energy that you're feeling from this person, meaning how does this person make you feel when you're around them? How good do they make you feel? Because I'm thinking they have to make you feel good if you want them to go ahead and put a ring on it and stay eternally with you, right? Then you have to go ahead and, uh, you know, give this person a chance and don't leave them. Or if things are already up in the air between y'all and there's unfinished business that you have between each other with the hangman, then just come on back together if you can. If the third party interference is not, you know, another person that somebody is having one night stands with, okay, when they are separated from you. And even if that is the case, this is a one night stand. This is not anything serious, okay? So it's like, uh, Virgo, just feel the energy, baby. If the energy tells you that this person is in love with you and that it makes you happy, it makes you cry tears of joy, it makes you feel highly, uh, you know, turned on to, then this is your person that you're walking away from. And I personally will recommend not to do it. Now, let's see how that Aries feel about you sexually. That Aries want to do intimately and romantically. Okay, Aries want to do a lot here, baby. First of all, we see uh, the six of earth, okay? They see you as somebody who is super sexy. Virgo, they see you as somebody that they just want uh, you to put your thong on and your stockings and your high heels and dance for them, baby. Okay, just dance for them. Uh or dance with them. Here's the death here. It looks like things may have ended between you and this person, but they want to revive it back to life. 
okay and they want you to give them a chance so they're coming towards you here's the world here they're coming towards you and saying to hell with everybody else showing everybody else their ass okay because they want you but it looks like once they get you or hunt you down you're going to have your back towards them like you don't care that they have this long strong uh erected wand right here that they want to utilize on you okay but then uh they're going to win you back over baby with the queen of earth they're going to win you back over with that wand action you're going to start feeling the energy from behind here this person you're going to have your hand on your hip like you ain't trying to hear that but this person is going to come with this wand and start talking to you and make you feel that energy that i was telling you about so it could be like an aries that you're dealing with virgo how about that uh taurus what does that Taurus want with a uh, Virgo sexually, intimately, romantically? Well, it looks like we have um, the Knave of Earth and the Queen of Air. This Virgo right here wants to talk to you, uh, you know, to get you in the bed. That's a Virgo. I meant Taurus. This Taurus wants to talk to you to get you in the bed, okay? Very sly, Fox. Very sly fox. And they're going to get you to take your clothes off as the queen of air. Because I'm thinking you cut this Taurus off. But this Taurus keeps talking to you about, uh, you know, coming back to you in the bed. And just wanting to just rock your world. And they're giving you all kind of messages about how they feel that they could be so good to you in the bed. And so you just go ahead and go against your own wishes. And take off your clothes. Or you may or you may not, Virgo. You know what I'm saying? You may be with this person and then this person is like somebody who is talking to you and y'all are doing all types of nasty things. But it's like, um, <clears throat> probably to no avail. Now, how about that? This is how this, uh, this is how this, uh, what am I talking about? <laughs> Gemini. Sorry, Virgo. Gemini. The Gemini wants to eat you out baby the only thing they're thinking about right now is holding your legs open and just eating the kitty just uh sucking all on the one and even when you come or ejaculate in this person's mouth they still going to eat it they still want to drink all those juices okay this person is a freak this gemini how about that cancer what does that cancer want to do to the uh, Virgo sexually intimately and romantically this person uh, wants to get you all wet and juicy in between your legs because they're talking to you too okay so it's like a lot of people just want to turn you on by the way that they're talking to you so far okay people have a lot of things that they want to say to you because I feel that you know Virgo uh, you're too you're off to yourself you're like the hermit in the deck and a person has to talk you out of being the hermit into their bed you know what i'm saying and that's what these people are doing or feel that they have to do now how about that uh leo what does that leo want to do to virgo sexually intimately romantically oh this is the knight of water here this person wants to come towards you as a very intimate partner okay they want to move towards you very slowly in the water you know take baths and jacuzzis with you light the candles and just make all types of sweet juicy love to you in the water baby okay that's what that dad on uh what do we say leo now what does that virgo want to do that Virgo on Virgo action, intimately, romantically, and sexually. Well, they also want you in the water with the two of water. This is you deserve love. It's like you want something else other than this person, but they're holding on to you, asking you, baby, please don't leave me. Please don't leave me. Don't leave me. Don't go from me. You know, I love you. You are everything to me. You know what I'm saying? And I have a very strong sexual desire for you, too. It's like you think I can let you go when your magnetic pull is too strong. All they want to do is just while they holding you while you trying to leave they got their arm wrapped around you but then they're going to bring their hands around and just start rubbing on your nipples okay and try to light your body on fire in this water and have all types of sex with you this stack on virgo on virgo action is intense baby okay 
Now that the mess, okay. Stop that, um... Libra. <laughs> the Libra is the seven of earth. This Libra is just somebody standing back looking at you. I'm thinking this is like an energetic connection, okay, where you are focused on something else, maybe your dollar bill, but this person's energy is coming towards you. And every single time you look up, your daggone breast is coming out of your, uh, your shirt here because this person's energy behind you is making you feel like they are in the room. Or this could be saying that you are in the house with the Libra and you could be trying to do something else and this person always coming in the room and lifting down your shirt and just want to suck all over the nipples all the time like oh my goodness this daggone Libra is a freak now how about that Scorpio oh Scorpio we got the ten of swords ten of swords baby somebody is trying to get over the pain of you leaving okay Somebody's trying to get over the pain of you leaving. Scorpio is like in real pain about you leaving. Tell me more. Tell me more. This may be the person who you left because they wasn't trying to give you a commitment. You didn't feel like this person. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, or somebody was taking on the, the energy of a um, Leo, okay? Not Leo, Scorpio. I'm sorry, my darling. It's like 1 or 2 o'clock in the morning. I'm doing your reading. Or at least 12 or 1. Now here we got the uh, the 5 of our air right here. This person right here uh, feels defeated. They t or they talk to you in a defeating manner. In a very, uh, you know, rude and, and ignorant and evil manner. Like a, a Scorpio can do. A Scorpio, when they are upset at somebody, they will get very emotional and say all types of crazy things. But then you left them and now they're down here holding on to the last thing that you left in the house okay this person uh wants you back romantically and i feel that they're going to come back after you virgo now how about that uh sagittarius what does that sagittarius want to do to virgo sexually intimately and romantically okay hermit this is somebody else who wants to talk to you okay out of your hermit mode somebody's talking in your ear and getting you all juicy and wet in between your legs here baby okay you may be having orgasms from this person or this person could be talking to you about getting you to play with yourself to get you an orgasm okay yeah that daggone saje is really really hot now we got the uh Six of Earth for the uh, Capricorn. That Capricorn is the one that wants you to get all dressed up in the thong with your stockings on and start dancing with them, okay? Start dancing, you know, shaking that booty and everything. But I'm thinking like, you know, um, this person may just see you as some type of uh, reward for them, okay? A reward for them. Okay, now how about this... Uh, Aquarius, how does the Aquarius feel about the uh, Virgo and what they want to do sexually, intimately, romantically? Oh, that Aquarius is the one that want to hit it from the back with the three of earth. Okay, they want you in complete and utter ecstasy. And they don't care who hears you scream and moan as long as you scream and moan. Okay, yeah, that Aquarius wants to be all deep inside you. How about that Pisces? What does Pisces want to do to Virgo sexually, intimately, and romantically? Okay. Well, the Pisces, first of all, want to come towards you in a very shy manner. Okay. Very shy. They're standing here as the queen of water, you know, expressing themselves that, you know, they, they want some type of stability. They want some stability with you. They feel that uh, you could be somebody who is a stable partner for them. They probably come to you like, you know, asking you for some type of stability, okay? But this Pisces may be a daggone uh, rolling stone, baby. Wherever they lay their hat is their home. Everybody or every woman that they are with uh, is not 
uh, you know, aware that this person has other women, okay? But they're seeking sub some type of stability with you, okay? So this person, they come into you all booty butt naked and, you know, open with their feelings. But there are other people on the scene. Now, I'm thinking that they could be doing that because they know that you are stable, Virgo, you are a stable person for them and their life and they don't want to lose that stability, but also be out there playing the field, baby. Okay? So that Pisces is no good. All right, my darling. <clears throat> that right there is your reading. I think we got over 30 minutes or get going on 30 minutes at least. Ah, oh, Pisces, uh, if this reading resonated with you, then hit that like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell notifier to know and I will be uploading new messages. And if this was not your reading, don't worry about it. I'm going to get you next time, okay? Now, Pisces, until next time, don't forget, if you want to donate to my channel, the link to it is in the uh, description box below. I'm about to go to bed, y'all. <laughs> about to go to bed. I'm going to check back with y'all later, okay? Peace, love, and light. Hold up. <laughs>